I've developed a couple of graphic big pictures to help communicate the relationship between the main ideas, the main points of the course um, with each other. So the relationship between them. And the first big picture addresses um, the, big, the big idea of this course designed to help you think more scientifically in your practice. And in this big picture, it starts at the top with a depiction of some of the different ways that we know things, that we know the truth about things. And then it focuses on one of the ways, which is science. And from science, it's broken up into two broad categories, deductive and inductive science, or deductive and inductive reasoning as it relates to doing science and thinking scientifically. And both of those models of thinking scientifically are, are very important in helping us understand the world around us. Now that leads to the very first big part of the course, which is science and scientific research. Now from science and scientific research, it's, that's broken up into two kind of subcategories. One is positive research, positivist research designs, and the other is interpretive research designs. Now, it's important to note that both of those types of research designs are both science. One, the positivist models um, area, that looks at experimental and quasi-experimental designs, more explicit hypothesis testing. In the other, in the interpretive designs are more descriptive in nature, and those include things like case studies, action research, and ethnography. And those, are, those constitute parts two and three of the course. And then in, for part four of the course, it focuses on some of the specifics that relate to conducting research, uh, sampling, validity and reliability, data analysis, and some statistics. And all of that is um, is is focused most uh, mostly on the positivist designs. We aren't in this class going to be addressing too many of the models for analyzing research data that is typical among more interpretive designs. Things like like doing the qualitative analysis of of um, things like interview interview transcripts and that kind of thing. So we're going to focus more on some of the specifics related to the, the statistics of positivist design, experimental designs, quasi-experimental. These are some of the things that you need to be particularly aware of and, and, um, and sort of literate in when you read and critique research studies. Now the second big picture for the course is related to the first and it just presents the four different parts of the course project and how each of those parts of the project relate to the four parts of the, of the big picture model um, that, we're, that we're following, the, the other big picture model where we start with um, science and scientific um, research and we move to positivist designs and then just interpretive D designs and then sampling. So it relates those four parts to the four parts of the course project. And so throughout the course, um, we're, we're going to be, I will be referencing specific aspects of these visual big pictures just to help situate you on, um, on where we are in the course and where we are in the course concepts and the course ideas, and also to sort of illustrate where we're heading. So you will see these big pictures throughout the course.